done my with my walk in a little bit, then you can say hi. I was going to walk to a local restaurant for coffee and a bite, and then I was gonna head back. The park was pretty much right next door. The little girl sounds a little disappointed when I say sorry, but perked up when I said the park. Then the demon arrives. Entitled mom, let my kids see the baby, please. Me, sorry, you must have not heard me. She's having a nap right now, but on my way back, you guys can meet me in the park and say hi. Entitled mom, uh, we don't have time for that. Let us see the baby now. Sure, you, she reaches for the top part of the stroller when dad reflexes kick in and I smack her hand. The commotion causes my daughter to wake up and get fuzzy. She's only nine months old. Me, if you do that again, so help me God, I will have bone, broken bones, you hear me? And tell mom, if you threaten me, I'm going to call the cops. Me, it's not a threat, it's a promise. You touch my daughter and I will bury you. <laughs> EM, yawn. <laughs> she just wanted to see the baby, yeah. Storm off, cool down, and go get a chai. Holy F. I honestly don't know what she was thinking, even if it offered her to let them see her in like half an hour. Some people. I did one. I've gone off. I've gone for dozens of walks and stuff before and never seen those two before. They must either be tourists or just moved here. I really hope they didn't move close to me. I did too. I uh, typed the first part weird. I'm baby's dad and took her for a walk so her mom could have some time to herself. I appreciate all the strong mom comments though, lol. <laughs> That's so cute. I, 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 I was, I thought I got, I got that in the beginning. Um, yeah. But go dad. Nice. I think he handled that pretty well. Honestly, like, don't touch other people's kids. me into 
easily access it and to make changes to my insulin as needed. I was over at my mother-in-law's house when my pump had an alert. My blood sugar was trending low and this can be quite serious, so it's a loud and demanding alarm. I cleared the alert and grabbed a few fruit snacks to raise my sugars. My five-year-old nephew had the alert and asked me what it was and I told him. I explained that it's a medical device that I wear to keep me healthy. He considers this and he holds out his hand demanding to see him. I refuse since it's a medical device and that I need to live. Beyond that, he's not gentle with anything and breaks most of his toys very quickly. I tell him no again and knowing that he rarely hears a word move my pump from my waistband to clip it into my bra. This way he can't just grab it, which is absolutely what he would do. He starts crying and wailing to his mother, my sister-in-law. She comes running. She screams at me, asking why I did what I did. I just shrugged off and said that I told him no, he couldn't have my insulin pump. She scoffed at me and told me to just hand it over. I can go without it for a little bit and my nephew deserves to see it. I should be st stimulating his natural curiosity instead of trying to hamper him. I refuse again and tell her to drop it. It's not going to happen. But he's a child. <laughs> now, I've dealt with them before so I know that she's not going to be able to drop it. I said no her to our child and that's unforgivable. I'm getting a headache from the scream, so I just turned and left. I didn't need to be there anymore, so I went home. Oh, sorry that I'm not willing to risk my health and well-being just to entertain your child. Oh, wait. I am not sorry. <laughs> and you shouldn't. Um, no. I am, you know, I feel like everyone does this, but reading stories like this, I feel like it's just like, common sense that you don't let a child play uh, you know with like life support like like if someone's like on life support are you just gonna let your child play with a plug or what um yeah, very uh, very interesting <laughs> I I don't know what to say I'm lost for words <laughs> but I have another story that, that is quite good one is entitled Dad Leaves Me With His Children On A Plane. Oh god. So this happened last weekend. I was flying out of JFK Airport in New York, aka one of the worst airports in the US, trying not to catch the plague double masks. When I was in the TSA line, I was surrounded by two families, a mom and her son behind me and two parents with two boys in front of me. The mom in front of me was tired, <laughs> like she was sitting on a big carry-on bag while her husband wheeled her about tired. <laughs> Dad was so focused on mom not falling off the suitcase that the boys were just darting around about it and trying to play with the boy behind me as well. It's 6.30 a.m. I am on two hours of sleep, so the world is just too much for me. But I also work in a special needs preschool for two years prior to becoming a therapist, so I know how to wrangle kids on minimal sleep. It's a, a storming outside, I hope you can't hear that. <laughs> I go into crowd control mode, asking the boys about their injuries, but reminding them we have to be quiet to talk about them. I found out the brothers are Eric 9 and Daniel 6, and they are really excited about going on plane have a nice chat about me previously working in the special needs school and how fun it was. An hour and a half later, I am boarding the plane and I see the tired mom like five rows back from where I was seated. She's at a window seat and she's already passed out. I sit and about five minutes later, I see the dad and the two boys coming on the plane. The first kid, Daniel, sits down next to me and dad pauses for a moment, just staring at me. After a minute, I'm like, me, is something wrong? And <laughs> I kid you not, this man proceeds to take the boarding pass out of his second son's hand, swaps it with his, and tells his son to sit in the aisle seat. He then bolts to the row his 
wife is in. Once the disbelief wears off, the boys start asking me questions about the pine and snack and the TV mounted in front of them. I am so exhausted, I don't even fight it. I show them our law on how to turn the TV screen on the seat in front of him and tell them, Miss Mindful is really sleepy yet like your mom, so I'm going to take a nap. Both of them tell me to have a nice nap and I pass out. I wake up two hours later to my tray down with a mini water bottle and a bag of cookies on it. Apparently my new friends thought I wanted a snack when I woke up. <laughs> Great kids. 30 minutes before we land, there's commotion behind us and what sounds like running. All of the sudden, a formerly asleep mom is very much awake and looks over both kids to make sure they are right. Both of them mention now they have been watching Moana, so they are perfectly fine. Mom then shouts her husband the neutral face of displeasure. <laughs> we, when we get off the plane, mom follows me to the bathroom to apologize. Apparently, she took some medication to help her ease their anxiety with flying, but just knocked her. Can't be anxious if you're unconscious, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> her husband was supposed to sit with the younger boy while the older ones are with her. She freaked out when she woke up and saw her husband in her drowsy state. She thought her husband forgot the children back at JFK, hence her panic. Apparently her husband thought it was a good idea to leave them with me because he heard me talking about working at school and figuring they would be fine with me. She apologized, and when we got out of the bathroom, she made her husband apologize for abandoning our children, children with a stranger. The whole walk out of the pickup area, she was reminding us children about stranger danger and how they need to be careful in big places like this. <laughs> Daniel gave me a paper ID folded out of a New York City brochure, <laughs> so I have a new best friend now. Oh well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like that was kind of like a funny story. That's a good story to end on because that was kind of like awesome. I mean, it looks like she didn't care too much and nothing serious happened. But I feel like, you know, as a parent, I know it gets really tiring and you just want to give off the uh, um, responsibility of it. <laughs> but please don't drop your kids off like some random childcare you just decided a person to be. <laughs> um, I don't know. I know it's tiring, I know. I, I get it, but <laughs> also do it. <laughs> but you guys, that was it for today because this thunderstorm is interrupting my plans of being really quiet and coming for you to sleep. <laughs> Another subreddit that's the more famous one, but that has like made up 